Okay, everyone, so a little while later, and I do have some progress to show you, and it is quite a bit of progress, so let's just kind of go one by one and with the simpler stuff first, so a new nether portal. So I decided that the area that I'm going to have my nether portal is over there, right there. So obviously, I'm going to create a big room, um, but I wanted my portal to be as close as to my you know, my last base, just so I could use the same nether hub. So the closest point to the base is kind of there. That might be closer, but I don't want to get mixed up with that hole. And over there, maybe I'll, maybe I'll move it over there. But for now, that is um, our dedicated nether portal. Once again, we'll do something with it later. What's next? Um, oh, got other side. So if you guys know, um, they released a new disc with the Caves and Cliffs update. Uh, called other side and it's actually a really great disc it's one of the actually it's maybe my second favorite disc i think the only one that i like more is the white one um which is what is it stall cat i don't know something i think it's stall um but other side but the thing about it is it's specifically very rare and it's only a two percent drop inside of only I think dungeon chests and also like the spot the spawner room chests um so it's extremely rare and i spent i think about four hours and i went and found it so i only have a single disc obviously i'm not gonna after spending four hours to find a single disc um i'm not gonna keep searching for more i only need technically the one i do want a second one so i can have one in the frame and one in the juke um but yeah, what I ended up doing is I think I ended up exploring around 15 to 20 dungeons. Now, you might say, wow, I am not going to get myself one of those discs if you it, it took 15 to 20 dungeons. Well, I also think I got extremely unlucky. You could probably find one of those if you visit like four or five. I just, all of my dungeons just didn't have them. A couple of my dungeons were only like half dungeons too because of some weird generation of the land. Um, but anyway, long story short, I got the other side disc. It took four hours, like 15, 20 dungeons, um, but I ended up finding it. Um, I probably should have recorded it, but oh well, that's fine. Um, I finished the floors and broke down some walls. So these are kind of um, the same thing. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. You guys know that the inside of this room is basically done, but I have been working on the outside here, and um, a lot of it's from before, some of it's new. Most of this is from before, except I got rid of the torches and added in the sea lanterns, and I also added sea lanterns on all of the sides here, um, you know, if I was missing any. But really, the place where I did a lot of work is over here. So as you can see, um, the floor is completely done, but you also might notice something pretty gigantic comparatively a lot of the walls are gone so um as you guys know these were basically separate towers and i was i just i didn't like the random walls in between my base when there's no reason for a wall to be there just basically it restricts my flight it restricts my space it restricts my visibility so basically what i did is any walls inside of my base that basically didn't lead to the outside or weren't necessary i just straight up got rid of because there's no reason for them so let me give you guys kind of like a quick thing um i basically added this small wall here and added in the ceiling there and then we have you can kind of tell so this is one of the uh one of the let's just say pillars or towers and this is the second tower so you can see that this entire wall here has been removed the entire wall here has been removed i removed Basically, if you guys remember, there was a giant wall right here. Um, just I removed it. There's no reason for it. I'm going to continue the wall right here um, up the hoppers, but there was no reason to have a wall there and a wall here. Um, so I completely got rid of that. Now you could, you could see just how much more open it is. Let me come. Maybe it, this is a better view. So you can see now all of this is completely open. All of here is completely open. And then I went and continued that same trend over here. Um, so you could see uh, the wall, the floors are done, sea lanterns, and all of the walls for all of the pillars are completely gone. So this is, you know, 
it's pretty freeing, easier to fly, easier to see. It'll, you know, get me more room. So what I do plan to do is with this black concrete, which I spent another couple hours uh, getting and making and all. Oops, I just fell into this. Um, I'm going to lift up these walls here. So at least this part does have a wall. I was thinking of maybe leaving the hoppers out in the open, but I should really cover them just for the sake of the base. Um, but yeah, so here, there, I think as far as the floors and walls... Um, I did the floor over here, but I didn't really do much with the walls. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of about it. So again, pretty boring, but I mean, I spent hours and hours and hours on it. So I, I have to show you guys. Um, let's see, there was one more sign. Oh, I know what it is, but I have to go remove the sign super quickly. So full inventory marker. So let me tell you guys a quick story about, I guess it might be even easier if I should have just showed you guys. Uh, let me get out uh, my okay hello I'm getting lost my um, inventory system now this is a extremely simple uh, basically separating system for items there is just one singular downfall is if it gets backed up it also gets destroyed so a lot of other inventory systems that are a lot larger um, have this ability if they get backlogged, if items get backlogged, it's fine. This one can't, you know, this relies on a certain amount of items being in this hopper right here. And if items basically get full and travel up, they'll land, they'll get stuck in here and that will completely break the system. And that applies to every single one here. If any one of these ends up getting full on accident, it will break my, basically my entire system. So I thought instead of just basically playing it irrationally and just shoving items into my system and just kind of hoping that it doesn't get full and just like randomly making more chests for the items that I think might get full easier, I created basically a warning system for myself to know when it gets full. So if you, you guys can see that there are now lamps above every single um, basically chest. So it's super, super simple. It didn't take really uh, that long. Can I show you here? Let me see if I can show you right here. So basically you could see that going into this hopper, I have a comparator and that comparator is hitting into that block right there. And that is shooting a signal down into the lamp. So if all of these chests get full, the items will start backing up into the hopper. And when this hopper gets backed up, this will go on and it'll tell me here that these chests are now completely full. And basically, I'll have between the time of this hopper and above if so. Yeah, basically, I need to make sure I fix it before the items get filled all the way up to the inventory system. So basically, my safety net is these hoppers right here. Um, now, I could make that a lot bigger if I added chest, so I could break that out of chest, break that out of chest to make the safety net bigger. But honestly, I'm not particularly stupid in real life, so I'm going to notice a light, you know. Um, and I don't usually stick absolutely absurd, absurd amount of items in here. Um, I, I did, obviously, just now because I moved my base over here, but usually I don't. So my point is... I now have emergency markers telling me that something is full so I could fix it so it doesn't break my system. And it also just tells me, hey, this is full. Um, I should probably make it bigger um, for the future. So it's also a good indicator. You can see I've already made a lot of these bigger, so I know I'm going to have a lot of gravel. I don't know why I made this one particularly larger. That might have been a mistake. I oh, I think, was I trying to go for grass? <clears throat> anyway, like obviously dirt is, dirt is almost already filled up. Um, you know, the crying obsidian because I get a lot of that. I tend to collect a bulk amount of sand. Um, but yeah, I think that is all of my updates for basically the past like three or four days. Um, I've been slowly working on, you know, I, with, I have all these, my building chests. Once again, the beautiful thing about this is whenever I'm done with this project, I pick up all these shulker chests and bam, I set them right here. And these are the items that are still flowing in. Um, I'm slowly, you guys know that I collected all of the items from the old base and put them on here and they are all being organized. Well, I have a lot of external storages to a lot of my farms and the nether and the end and random stuff. So I've been slowly bringing stuff from my external farms here. 
So you can see, you know, carrots, my amethyst, pumpkins, melons, bricks, a lot of stuff from the nether, um, leather, string. So I'm slowly also getting that stuff moved in um, and hoping that this can become my, you know, my primary inventory place soon enough. Um, but I think I've rambled long enough. Once again, just a little recap. I did the floors. Uh, I removed a whole bunch of walls because they were basically unnecessary. Now it gives me more space. I added an emergency marker system for my inventory. And I explored a couple like frustrating hours to try to find other side of the new music desk. Um, but yeah, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and keep playing. I think what I'm going to start doing next... Um, I have to add more of the sea lantern lighting over here. So I got to do sea lantern lighting throughout this entire uh, floor. And then, oh, very important. I have to start building up these walls, which will take a lot of black concrete. But luckily, I got some. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to be working on, guys. Okay, I'm like, is it not working? Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next clip, which will probably be a few days. Hey, everyone. So I'm just gathering some sand because I've got a lot of concrete to make. Just a quick show, this is how much I've done so far. So I basically cleared out this area, cleared out this entire area, cleared out over here, over here. And now I'm just slowly making my way over here, but the only reason I decided to record was obviously just, hey, look, um, <clears throat> this is part of the game that you guys don't see a lot. You know, I have to go grinding just like everyone else. <clears throat> but one thing that I've never seen before and the reason I'm recording is this stuff right here. Uh, rooted dirt. Um, yeah, this, I've never had rooted dirt before. Um, it is from the new update, and I just realized that rooted dirt comes from under the trees, and I don't know if it's just the desert, because I just don't know. I, I was surprised to see it. Um, but yeah, so my first time getting rooted dirt. I'll have to see, like, what I can do with it. I don't know if it holds any special properties. I'm pretty sure it's just a different type of dirt. Um, I don't know, maybe it just has a different texture. Who knows? But yeah, I'm just getting some sand and uh, get, get myself some rooted dirt. Now that I know that it's here, I'm going to try to go to all of these trees and I'm going to try to get some now. Hey everyone, so this is going to sound a bit nuts, but it's actually probably been a few months. I know that sounds like a little bit like, really? Since the last clip, it's been a few months, but actually, yeah. Um, I recorded most of the other clips kind of before pharmacy school. And I just, well, okay, in the break during pharmacy school. And it's basically been a whole semester since then. So about three to four months. Obviously, I've played a very tiny bit in between. But um, anyway, yes, it's been a while. But there's also been a very, very large amount of things that I've kind of done in between. Um, so we're going to go through those right now. So let's go one by one. A new armor place. So... Let's quickly head back to the main base. As you guys know, this is where we stored our armor at the old base, and... <laughs> Does the red cell not work anymore? Did I already break it? Oh, that's why. Ah, oh, my thing is. Okay. Um, yep, so you can see all the armor pops up and then gets hidden. You guys have seen this before if you watched the episode where I built it. Um, it's a very, very simple um, redstone mechanism, which um, obviously I'm going to need another one of these at my new base. So that's exactly what I did. All right, so if we fly over here to this area, and I don't really know what it was like. Where are these zombies? Hello? Okay. Oh, it's probably from like right there. Okay, we'll have to figure that out later. Anyway, this is the part that you guys saw last uh, clip, and it's a little different now, obviously. So I've put in the basically the skeletal structure of the armor. Um, it's basically an exact duplicate of the one that we have at the other base. The difference is it's a little bit more spread out, and um, I'm going to be putting some different decorations around it. But the concept is still the same. So if I do this, you could see all of the armor stands go down. All those go up. And if I click this, all of the armor stands should come back up. If there's a minor difference with the other one. All of them were on the exact same timing. This one is going to have a little bit of a different timing, as you can see. So it's kind of more of a row effect instead of an all at once. And um, the only reason I did that was because I couldn't figure out how to do it the other way around. Because this is a large, much larger area. And I could probably fix it with about an hour of tinkering um but i don't feel like doing that so um let me show you what's actually down there where 
I made a hole. Where did the hole go? I literally made a hole. Okay, new hole. Okay, so if I come down here, like I said, it's the exact same mechanism. We have lever pushing down a redstone block onto this wire here, and we have basically two outputs. Um, one output is to raise the armor stands, and the other output um, is to lower the armor stands, and um, obviously the gold blocks have to be retracted, but the hard part about this circuit is the um, the gold blocks have to be retracted quicker or first when the armor stand is coming up but they have to be retracted later when the armor stands are going down so basically for the circuit the gold blocks need to be first in one instance and second in the other instance so this is a very quick basically circuit letting it know that you know when it comes up you need to go away very quickly when it goes down you can take your time and you actually want to move the block over after it's already gone um so this is the circuit. Honestly, I've already explained the circuit in another episode. So you can literally go back a couple episodes. Probably wasn't even that long ago with the armor stand. And I explain it a tiny bit better. Um, but if you want to just, you can just, bam, there you go. There's all the timings. The, you, you, you'll figure it out. I believe in you. You're a big boy or a big girl, I guess. Um, you'll figure it out. But anyway, so that circuit comes over to all of these little, um, basically double piston uh, setups. Um, so all of these can, can basically make up two pistons. You got two blocks, torch, repeater, block, torch, two repeaters. And all of these are set to different, um, basically, times to make the thing work. So I'm not going to do any more than that just because it's long and boring and you guys probably don't care. But once again, I'll show you. They all go down. Blocks get pushed in front. And then blocks get pushed and there you go, bam. Um, I laid out the lamps on the floor like I always do. Um, so in the next clip, I'll probably have this decorated and we're going to move all of the um, stands actually over here. But that's what I have so far. I just wanted to record this bit um, before I decorate it, just so you guys can kind of see, you know, see the thing in action, see the bare bones wiring and all that. Um, but moving on. On what else did we do since a couple months ago? New checklist board. Okay, that could be talking about a couple things, but what I'm assuming that we're talking about is over here. But bang. Um, so um Q back to the main base. Alright, back to main base. We're flying. If you guys know, over here we have our little item checklist. Um, so once again, we didn't build this that long ago because this base really isn't that old. Um, but this is the checklist. The lights are things that we have done as far as farms. I forgot to mention that. These are items that we farm. And then these over here are the items that we haven't farmed, which some of these are a little outdated very clearly because we have that, we have that, we have that, and we have that. Um, so a little bit outdated, but point is that was the old one and ta-da now what the How did you get in here? I genuinely don't think there's an entrance into this place. Okay. Um, hold on. Where's a uh, name tag, right? Give me name tag. Um, where are my name tags? They're, they're here somewhere, aren't they? Yes. Okay. I was like, I knew that they weren't in my, um, wow, grum, dolphy, dinner bone, uh, okay, you're gonna your name's gonna be Wow, like the song from Post Malone. Wow, you are gonna be the Post Malone cow. Bang! You are now trapped in here for the rest of your life. You have no choice in this. So if we go back to the board, this is a fully updated board. Obviously, don't really need to show you the wiring, but it's just a bunch of lamps with a block so the cert, the the energy gets diluted and doesn't go into adjacent blocks. And I think I actually redid it for all of the items, so this is completely accurate. These are all of the items that we currently have farmed in the game. We have a pretty small list of things that we don't have farmed. I don't even know if some of these are possible, but I know a few are. I know for a fact we can get a rose farm, a wither skeleton farm, ghast farm, rabbit farm. So th these are like the very, 
we've farmed most of the things, but yep. So that is something else that I quickly did and by quickly. I mean, it took probably quite a long time because it's a lot of items, a lot of lamps. Um, okay. And I'm going to combine these last two, uh, C lamp trims and new entrance ways. This is basically, you've probably seen it already for me flying around these. Uh, I just did some more decoration on the base. Um, and let me show you the greatest example is actually right here. So again, if you look from last episode, there is new things. So like a lot of the walls are now completed again. I don't know how much last clip we had, but I added all of these black walls just because I think they look nicer. And you could see that there's now sea lantern trims all around the place to basically like outline um, the black wall compared to the deep slate. So you can see that there are trims basically everywhere. Um, let's see what happens if I go in here. So yeah, that, that was the main thing that I did is I added the trims, but, um, I think the most important thing you guys might've been wondering since I built this base, where the heck is the entrance? Because this really isn't an entrance here, right? There, it quite literally isn't. I thought it was, but I think I added another thing in front of it. How do you get into the base? Well, I thought um, we are 2020 citizens of the Minecraft world. And of course, we only use Elytra because we're elitists. So I thought, why not make this base accessible by only flight? And if you somehow lose your wings, you can't get in because you're not cool enough. So that's what I did. I added basically holes across the entire base as entranceways and... Um, Again, I know I explained this before, but I know all you guys don't watch every single video. What I really wanted to do with this base was have it accessible by air and have each part of the base accessible. So that goes to our bedroom, that goes to the side room, that goes to the inventory space. But I didn't really think it through and the execution of it was fairly poor. Um... But I have the option of fixing that in this space because we have quite separate rooms and, you know, adding a little tube down is very awkward in this because there was two layers and it breaks the effect of the circular dome. But if you come here, this is all a pretty blocky. Oh, and I also added these trims. So all of those trims I also added. I don't know if that was there last episode, but um, it is there now. But what I did is I added holes to all of the areas that holes could be added. So you can see one there. No, you do not belong here. Go away. I'm recording right now. Okay, same to you. Bye-bye. So, hole there, hole, I basically added two holes for the inventory system, one hole into that, hole, 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 and then I have, also I'm kind of sicker now by the way, so forgive me, and then also a hole into every single one of the pillars, and I also added the lamp trimming on this area too. So, once again, it's really nice, I can go into any part of the build through the little sky hole. This one here, let's just say I want to go straight to... Um, I don't know this place right here. Bam. I'm in I want to go somewhere else. Bam inventory system. I'm in. Oh, no I want to go out. I just go out one of these big holes and I'm out. Oh, just kidding. I'm out. No, just kidding again you, you get the point. There's holes everywhere I can get in from basically any point on the map and I added the fancy little trims So I think that's kind of all I worked on and by all I worked on that was quite a bit um, a whole armor system I completely had to move the checklist over um, sea lamp trims, 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 and new entranceways. Yeah, that's what I have done. I have a lot of black concrete in my inventory. I don't really know what I was doing last. I was, I was probably just doing some more building out there. Um, but all is well and hunky dory inside of my Minecraft world. There's a lot of items out here. I must have, oh, that was from when I, yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, the next time you see me, probably armor stand area is going to be done and probably more base stuff. And I don't know what else I'm doing because I'm not sure what I'm actually doing in real life either. Oh, um, life update. I don't know if I'll actually make a video for the channel or I'll just say it here. I don't really care. Um, yeah, so I just got done with my second semester of pharmacy school. Items are going up still, huh? 
Oh yes, fire chargers. I just got done with my second semester of pharmacy school. Um, so far, um, pretty good. Didn't fail. I'm still running at it. I have a summer semester. That's what I'm about to start right now. Um, yes. So that is my life. Um, cool. See you guys in the next clip.